let us see placeholder form attribute of HTML file. I'll start with the label. Remember placeholders are not a substitute for labels. I'll take a text input type here. Remember the for and the id of label and input type respectively should match here. That's the syntax. I'll quickly copy and paste this and change it to email and URL. Note that HTML5 has email and URL types too. So I think these three input tags are sufficient for now. I'll remove this fourth one. Let's have a look at it in the browser. So this is our normal HTML form fields. I'll add placeholder to it, giving a hint to the user what type of data and what kind of formatting should be input in these form fields. It's just a hint and not kind of validation or anything. It's not a validation, it's not a substitution for any other tags. Refresh. Okay, here you see this placeholder text. If you start typing in, the placeholder text disappears. Well, if you remove these in user inputs, again the placeholder text appears. So this is placeholder.